NHRP redirect. I want to show you what is happening. We are sending this ICMP, this NHRP redirect from the router one to the router three because we want to inform that you have better pass than R1. You can send direct traffic to the router one here. This is NHRP redirect, our information. After that, this source is 10.141, destination is the uh, 10.343, okay, 10.343, okay, after that, here we have this information, this, so if the source, IP, the source IP, means the source protocol IP is 172.16.31, destination is 172.16.21, you can forward it yourself or from better pass uh, to the destination, you don't need to give it to me, okay? Because of that here, uh, beside of forwarding the data to the router 2, R1 should send again one redirect message, okay uh, to the router tree also you know that r1 received this uh, nhrp resolution message from the router 2 okay because of that r1 should answer but you know that when we are receiving resolution message from the router 2 okay in r1 r1 doesn't answer it itself actually the router 1 should encapsulate it to the router 2 Look at here, as you can see, the resolution, okay, was sent from the router 2 to the router 1, and here we are asking about the 172.16.31, okay, and here 172.16.30 slash 24, reachable uh, from the next stop of 192.168.123.3, and the NBM is 10.343, is 10, but we don't answer it ourselves, actually, we should advertise, we should forward or re-encapsulate the NHRP resolution message to the router 3 and router 3 should answer it itself okay such as the for example DMV, dmvpm phase 2 because of that the next function is that r1 should encapsulate or re-encapsulate the nhrp resolution okay to the router 3 let me to show you if you want you can remove the icmp packets because we have learned about the icmp now and we don't have any job with any task with them look at here this is the nhrp uh, for example, resolution request that R2 sent to rotor 1 and now R1 is forwarding it to the rotor 3. The source IP is the 10141 as you can see, 10141 to the uh, 10343. Okay, and here we have this request. I want to know about the 172.16.31. Okay, after that, this is also the NHRP redirect that we have received from the rotor one in the rotor three. Because of that, we can add one step here in the in the step four. We have three function. First, R1 should forward the data to R2. You have seen it, and then R1 should send redirect to the rotor three. And after that, here R1. Okay is forwarding the resolution request to the router 3 this is the resolution okay and now it is received by the router 3 in the next step router 3 should answer to the resolution request to the router 2 it is so easy look at here assume that i will show you all of the detail in the packets but here we have one resolution reply the source is the rotor 3 destination is rotor 2 10 2 4 2 this is the destination and 10 3 4 3 is the source then gre then nhrp resolution and here we have the nbma address of the rotor 3 okay let me to show you this is our nhrp resolution reply and inside of this nhrp resolution reply we have the uh, for example protocol or uh, the protocol address or the logical address is the 172.16.31 and the physical address or nbma address okay nbma is the one nine uh, is the 10343 3. that's it okay because of that now in the router 2 after receiving this information we have the uh, protocol okay of the 172.16.31 okay and after that the nbma of the 10.34 a uh, three okay and then this is the first step uh, answering the echo the uh, resolution request from the router two because of that here we can add r3 now is using the resolution reply message and it's sending it to the router two 
and also now because in the rotor tree we have received redirect message the rotor tree itself should answer and uh, should um, re request the the nhrp resolution with nhrp resolution about the 172.16.21 okay look at here let me to show you here i am going to an to ask from the rotor one about this NHRP redirect message. This is NHRP, let me to show you again, for a destination is the 10141, source is 10343, okay, 10343, then GRE, after that, this is NHRP resolution. Resolution, and here we are asking about the 172, okay, 16, uh, 21 172.16.21 because the, the the rotor two the rotor one sent this message that you have better pass for the 172.16.21 but we don't have any information about the next stop because of that we should ask about it this network uh, from the rotor one this is nhrp resolution because of that in the step five we have two function first resolution reply uh, to the rotor let me to write here reply it is easier uh, to the rotor two and also re resolution request to the rotor one this is the r3 then sending the request okay means resolution request uh, to the rotor one that's it okay and after that the rotor one okay should uh, forward or should we encapsulate this nhrp resolution uh, to the rotor two why because the destination or the uh, uh, nhrp resolution received for the 172.16.21 and here as you can see 172.16.21 reachable with the next stop of 192 168 122 and it is reachable from the 10242 because of that we are forwarding the packet to the 10242 okay because the rotor 2 itself should answer and because of that in the next step in the step 6 the r1 okay should forward the nhrp resolution request okay uh, to the rotor 2 that's it and finally the rotor 2 should answer to the rotor 3 let me write here rotor 2 should answer with the resolution okay resolution reply uh, to the rotor it is not so complex it is only multiple steps it has only multiple steps but the steps is not so complex okay when you are sending resolution request okay the r1 does not answer r1 advertise it to the the for example or destination uh, spoke and the destination spoke should answer that's it resolution request as you can see resolution reply and here r2 should send the r3 that yes about the 172.16.21, you can use the protocol address, then the NBMA address of 10.242. Protocol is the 172.16.21, okay, and here is the NBMA address, is the 10.242. Let me to show you what is happening here. We should implement this scenario in the, for example, phase three. After that, we can verify all of these steps, okay, here. Uh, let me first configure this scenario. This is our scenario. We have configured uh, the phase two. Look at here, show run interface at uh, tunnel zero. This is a configuration of tunnel zero. We need only to configure one command, interface tunnel zero, IP NHRP redirect, okay? In the rotor one and also in the rotor two and rotor three, conf D interface uh, tunnel zero, IP NHRP shortcut, that's it. And in the rotor three, uh, conf D, IP NHRP uh, in the under the interface tunnel zero. Okay, IP NHRP shortcut. Also, let me to clear the, uh, for example, let me if you want, it's better to shut down all of tunnel interface because I want to uh, start from the scratch. Interface tunnel zero shut down in the rotor two, and also interface tunnel zero shut down in the rotor three. Now we don't have any tunnel interface. Okay, if you want, you can first. I monitor the link between the rotor 1 and rotor 4. This is the link between the rotor 1 and rotor 4, the first capture of us, because we want to use it, okay? And also, it is recommended to, to capture one of these two links, because I want to show you what is happening between these two rotors. For example, we can capture the link between the rotor 4 and rotor 3, and then, for example, what is happening. This is the uh, uh, capture of rotor 4 and rotor 3, and 
also we have other capture the between the rotor one and rotor uh, for example four now we should start the 